Good morning. It is a little after 6 a.m. The sun is just coming up, but it's very cloudy today, so it's pretty dark out still. I am headed for Cuyahoga Valley National Park. It's a little less than three hours from southwestern Pennsylvania, so I should be there a little after 9 a.m., and it'll be my second national park of the year. So, pretty excited. Let's do this. I just arrived in Cuyahoga Valley National Park. It's a little earlier than I thought it was going to be, so the visitor center is not open yet. So my first stop is Brandywine Falls. There's already a bunch of people here, so it looks like it's going to be a busy day. It's already pretty toasty. I am at the Everett Bridge covered parking lot and we're gonna go see one of the last covered bridges in the state. flood warnings that there have been for the past few days. I'm actually pleasantly surprised it's not too muddy, but uh, definitely a little bit soggy. Uh, yes, the trail is basically a river. And there's the actual river. sure which trail to take here. There's this one and there's this one. But you can just see through the trees here. This one looks kind of cool but it's pretty overgrown along the top part. A 
Oh, this avenue of trees is awfully pretty. So after a slight detour, I am back on a trail headed towards the trailhead. And guess what I just found? Raspberries! These look really good. They're not quite ripe, quite ripe yet, so I'm probably not going to eat them. But pretty exciting. There's actually a ton along here. try not to fall in the river. I got the feeling that most people just come to see Everett Bridge and they don't um, walk at all because I have not seen anyone so far and this trail is actually really pretty. Um, it goes along the river. I'm on the other side of the river from where I started now. So the river is off to my right hand side um, just like it was when I was walking up. It's actually really, it's really pretty. Um, the sun is sort of dappling as you can see across my face and um, I haven't seen anyone except a couple runners out on the road where I did a brief little road walk detour when I couldn't figure out what trail I was on. Um, even though this is an along trail, there's a little network of trails around here. So um, yeah, it's really peaceful. It's really quiet. Um, there's a lot of shade, which is nice because it is quite warm out already, even though it's only 10.30 in the morning. So definitely recommend um, exploring a little bit off the beaten path here. Getting dark, the dusk was dreaming. Maple swept and swayed. The stars were. All right, I am headed back to my car. Um, I ended up doing a little bit of riding run and a little bit of furnace run trails. So, about half of one and half of the other. Um, and I am right now at just over a mile and a half. So, a pretty short little trail but pretty fun. So I am on the Ledges Trail. Judging by the size of the parking lot and the number of cars in the lot, it is pretty popular but it seems like most people take the shortcut to the overlook because I am on the actual the Ledges Trail now and no one is taking this little turn off. So, let's see. Worry about
was getting late The lanterns burned Hands folded in the light And when you returned A weight was lifted Like I've felt few times since then Guess I'm older now really hard to capture just how tall these ledges are. <laughs> they are easily 50 feet tall. They are just massive. But what a cool trail. So I have pretty much wrapped up my day here at Cuyahoga Valley. Um, I'm back at the Boston Mills Visitor Center, which isn't exactly where I started, but pretty close. Um, I just finished and got my Junior Ranger badge. I do this at all the national parks. So I'm going to be heading out. It's a little after 2 o'clock. Uh, it is pretty warm and it's very busy, so I think it's probably just about time that I'm heading out anyway. Bye!